Well, hey there, YouTube. It's PD Two Finger, and with my new X MG three hundred, the cable jiggled around. Uh, some some of the connectors that I've picked up, uh, they seat themselves better. Like they don't they don't pop out. The cable that came with it from New X is what I would call a jiggle box. It it doesn't make really good contact. Um, so today I was out at resale and I got I got this one and I tested it. I got two of them. One of them did not work. I'm guessing it was just a, ch a charge cable. You can almost see the wires a little thinner. This is rubberized. I like that. I like those rubberized cables. So I'm labeling it and um, I got a, another issue. You know the MG30 came in today. And it's the same thing. The 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 cable that they give you to for the data cable i mean new x they don't they don't short you it's not like oh we're going to sell the power supply separate we're going to sell the foot switch separate they're going to have to get this, see this goofy cable it's got a magic cable it's got three connectors i don't know what that third one is if it's that's for the snake but yeah it's a pretty long cable with uh, double 90s it comes with the foot switch the foot switch is labeled a and then b and a and you're going to want to plug it into the b and a there's a 9 volt port this is a 5.5 millimeter 2.1 inner uh, diameter uh, boss standard center uh, ground regular cable and uh, we don't worry about that for this application but you do want to plug it into the b and a and then if you look carefully at the back it's labeled open uh, well uh it's labeled like lard uh frankincense and then uh Pull it back on. yeah it's uh set in the middle i don't know if you can see i put two little dots by open and then there's a dot in the bottom like hey dummy set it in the middle so if you set that toggle to open or in the middle and go on your B&A, you'll, you'll be in business. That's how you're going to do that. I'm at the point where I have, uh, I'm going to be trying to figure out how the smartest way to assign functions to the functionality to all of the switches. You know, I'm going to want to use scenes. I'm going to want to use tap tempo. So what's the best way to set it up? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I bought my unit from uh, Toman, Tommen and that's in germany so they sent me a euro style power plug this is from uh ukraine cranium the uh this is not that plugs into uh, uh doesn't plug in here i found i went looking i'm like i know i have one of these and there was one that was a five volt one amp and it had little nibs of wire i had soldered on here and then cut it off and removed it from the installation but there was hot glue over the solder points and I had taken a, a plug, a regular United States AC plug, cut it off, and then soldered it on. So <laughs> safety first. But I looked, and this little clippy, the uh, USA version of it, they were selling for 10 bucks on eBay. I mean, you get five of them, but uh, do you need five? <laughs> I had to get them and then put the other four up for sale for three bucks a piece. Now, I did, I did order one. I found a guy selling one for three bucks. You know, and I've got I've got a Zoom nine volt three of nine volt five hundred milliamp or half an amp power supply. And it's the same thing as this, but I it 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 sounds better when you. <laughs> so. Um, I'm playing around with this thing. I had planned on making a custom image for it. There's a splash screen when it boots up for three seconds. And um, when I was in uh, on the global, there is a uh, global is here. So I went into global and it's kind of like the Brady Bunch. There's like nine squares. And it's like system restore, calendar, you know. Uh, uh, there's a game at the bottom. It says game. So I call my wife like, you got to watch me play this video game. <laughs> so it's Snake. And I'm going. I started to get hungry. I have, a che I have a cheeseburger. Then there's a banana. And then I had another cheeseburger and Snake just stopped. I'm like telling her like, yeah. And then like telling her all about how you play Snake. You get big, you get longer. You don't want to run in. 
uh, and the snake just stops right in the middle of the screen. So I shut the thing off, turn it back on, and it's like the screen is, is uh, the whole screen is like static like smeared static and at the bottom there's like some green light going like and I'm just like oh my god I the snake you know I it's blown it's ruined so I shut it off I turn it back on same thing and then my heart really sunk so like two more seconds goes by and then it it comes on and here's the patch and it's fine so it turns out what I had done when I was in global, one of the things, I was just like, oh, I'll hit that, I'll turn this on, I'll, let me shut that off. I was just like randomly uh, ticking boxes. One of the boxes I ticked was use the stock splash screen or use a custom user image. And I had, I, I'm like, of course I'm gonna use a user image. So I had ticked that box so when I plugged it in the computer, I wouldn't have to worry about that. It would be all ready to go. And if you do that, if you tell the unit, I, I want to use a custom image, and you don't upload anything, that's what you'll see when you turn it on. It's normal. It's just a smeared, which maybe that might be something to fix on a firmware update. I, I don't know. If it's going to use up memory, I guess, you know. But it scared the pants off of me. Now, again, uh, the main thing of this video, the, the, the one thing that I had really hoped would be that they use a different connector for the USB, the, this little guy here. And it is, this is a USB-C. So the, the unit that shipped, the this is the cable that shipped with the new X MG30. Uh, and the, the connector is a USB-C, you said? That's what I think you said. This is different. Um, it's, and I don't know if it's, if you can tell, but one of these connectors is slightly bigger than the other one. One's smaller. And the smaller one is the one that Nux, Nuex shipped. Now, I, I have to uh, elaborate on my feelings here. Um, I'm not making this video to say that uh, Nux is skimping out. You know, they're given the bad cables the, the the decision to use the connector that they they did on the mg300 was a bad decision it's just not a, a a very good connector the cable that nuax sent me jiggled around and came right out if you if you put any pressure on it it would just go flying out and this is on the mg300 the old unit um, when I was out today, uh, resale shopping, looking looking for the United States clip on an adapter, because I've seen them at, re, at Goodwill. Uh, I, I picked up two of uh, these cables, which is a USB micro. And this is the connector. This is not the connector for the MG30. This is for the older MG300. They're different. And you can see here, one is a little longer than the other. Um, they're just different connectors, right? So my point being this, if your MG300, if you're bumping the cable and it's coming out, I mean, the, what I did is I set it off to the side. I'll put it in its own area near the computer where nothing can bump it. And that way you, you're pretty rock solid. The other thing to do is, uh, especially if you, there's a resale store in your area, is just go and look, look for replacements and purchase them. Now you're not gonna know, but some of them might not be data cable, might only be a charging cable. And that just means that these cables have four wires 
two of them are power and the other two are for data. Now, sometimes when they make these cables, they want to save a little money. And because the copper is so expensive, if they're if the cable, the functionality of the cable is only for charging and there's going to be no data transfer, they'll make a two wire cable. And it just has the red and black wire or uh, is it red and white? Red and black wire. The other two is white and green. And uh, if you plug that in, expecting <laughs> Uh, to be thinking with the computer, it's, it's not, it's, it's unable to pass the data. So it is kind of a uh, crapshoot uh, purchasing these cables. But when you find one that f has been manufactured to a better tolerance or larger tolerance, when you plug the cable in, you can sit here and go like this and it won't come out. But on the one that Nuwax sent me, if I went like that, it comes right out. And this is on the MG300. And I had like consciously willed it like, Lord God, when this thing comes, let the cable be the right cable, you know, and uh, it wasn't. It's the same thing. It's, this is a, it's a different cable. It's a, it's a different thing, you know, but when you plug it in, it uh, it barely goes in, and it's a jiggle box. So long story short, uh, I got another cable, and that is uh, from a Motorola phone. Now this uh, it's this charger here. Came, came with this charger. What, what type of phone is that? A, a Moto G? Whatever. Yeah, it's a Moto G Plus. Pure, pure. Pure, Moto G Pure phone. Anyway, it has a, it has a USB uh, C connector, which is larger, and uh, it works. It's It's got the data wires in it. And, but the main thing is when you plug it in here, it's not going anywhere. It stays in, you know. And that, that new X cable, uh, it had a different idea. It was doing its own thing. Now, uh, I have a nice USB extension. It says D-Link on it, and it's got a, it's got a big old, like a teardrop shaped plastic base where you plug it in. And it's okay, it's okay to run a USB extension cord up to a certain length, you can get away with it. The thing that the the device is not going to appreciate is if you're running a a USB hub. Um, it might work, it might not. But this uh, Motorola cable, it's definitely a huge improvement as far as connection stability. And that's going to be, so that's important, you know. Now I'm getting ready to uh, dive back in here and do some setup work. So then tomorrow I can, uh, I can get in and start making some patches. I, I went through and downloaded uh, pretty much all, like all of the patches I could see that were on the internet, that were online. And uh, more than likely what I will do is, I, I, I tend to use other people's uh, stuff and then just get in, get in there and, and you know, play with it, uh, change it up, make it my own. So I, I'll end up with uh, uh, importing other impulse responses from folders that I have here. I've got a pretty good collection of IRs and um, learn, learning what this thing has to offer because I got pretty familiar with the I got pretty familiar with the old one, the MG300, and I, I went through a good amount of uh, patch making sessions. You know, I, I, write up, I write a good amount of music, so 
Um, you know, I did uh, an album with 12. There was a couple, like, tribute kind of, like it kind of sounds like Cheapster, Jeepster by uh, T-Rex. You know, there was a couple of those, but I did, a, a, I think, a dozen song uh, recording, like a album, even though it's no one cares and it's not. It's just recordings. I did that in January, and then since then, we've got like 18 new songs for the duo, but four of them are off the album. So yeah, that's, you know, typical. That's about how much I write. And I like to write new patches for every song. I don't like reusing patches. I like to have, uh, and, and that's another thing, like I don't even know how, how many uh, patches can I make in this thing. Can I make 128 patches? I hope I can, because that's always been an issue. And with the, with, the, with the 300, it was like, man, they didn't give you a lot on that. Really didn't get a lot. Is it 30, 32 patches? So, don't use the stock cables. That's the whole thing. 